Hi everyone, I'd like to show you the process it took for me to make my project Milo. When Bissell first came to our school, they brought some of their very first sweepers that had been created, some that even date back to 1904. It has been really cool to see the progression that they've taken throughout the years, as well as the color combinations and material choices. After generating lots of sketches, I then started to make my first rough mock-up. This was to see the size and get a feel for the general form. There, I sketched a few more ideas and started to create my SOLIDWORKS model. After a few days of meticulously modeling, I was happy with the form that I got and took it to the object printer on the 11th floor. After you get a print from the object printer, the support system is still attached and must be sprayed off with a solution. It has this really weird jelly-like feeling that can be squished off with your fingers, but the solution will cut it quicker. Once you have completed taking off the rest of the support, you are then left with a high resolution print that is ready to sand and go. The top part of my model did have to be sanded though. I used a wooden doll that I epoxied some sandpaper to and started sanding at an angle. Something I did find very helpful was printing out the illustrator side view and spray matching them to the piece of foam. That way you could get the exact measurement and angle you would like. On the top left picture, I used a Bondo squash method where I put Bondo on the top part and put wax on the piece of foam underneath. When applied together, the Bondo keeps the shape but does not stick to the top piece. After sanding and sanding, I was finally happy with the shape that I had got. Then moving on to the handle, I cut sheets of 10 pound foam and epoxied and bonded them together. After a lot of sanding, I got the shape that I was looking for and was ready to start spackling. Once I spackled all the pieces, I was ready to start priming. In this process, I used about six cans of primer, which may seem like a lot, but when doing this type of thing, you need to apply thick coats to get this plasticky effect. Then, after a lot of time sanding, it was to start time to start spray painting. I first started spray painting the base of the sweeper, and then started spray painting the handle. I really like to use Dupacolor spray paint because it is consistent. Here you can see I was taping off the base so I could spray paint a black detail. The process I took to make the bristles I used an existing brush and drilled a hole through a piece of foam. I then epoxied them together and waited for them to glue. With the base of the sweeper, at an angle with a Dremel, I drilled the holes in so that I could epoxy the brushes in. Then to make the front detail, I used the laser cutter and use the illustrator file that I had previously made before. Out of 20 pound foam, I cut this out. I then sanded and primed and was almost ready for the final model to complete. I put the pieces together one last time before I started to glue. Here you can see I bonded the pieces in. I took a center brush from an existing sweeper and cut it and put it in. Here I'm right about to bond the pieces together. And here you have the final model of Paul put together. My teacher helped me apply a Bissell logo on the top as well. And here's my final project at Bissell.
Thank you.